If you need any Ultimate Team coins, head over to footcoinking.com. There's a link in the description. And if you use my discount code CHES, C-H-E-S, as you can see on screen, you'll actually now get a 10% discount for the rest of FIFA 14. Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again and welcome to episode number 49 of the Dortmund career mode here on Xbox One. Today we've got a one-off special. It's the Champions League final on the 30th of May 2015, the final game of the second season. Borussia Dortmund versus FC Barcelona. Now the Barcelona side absolutely destroyed Man City over two legs in the semi-final. They also sailed through against Madrid in the quarters and in their uh, in their round of 16 tie as well. Just blitzed all of the opposition in every single knockout. Out game. We scraped through against the red half of Manchester in our semi-final thanks to a last-minute winner from Hyung Min Son, who actually, unfortunately for him, finds himself on the bench at the start of this game. As you can see, Weidenfeller, Pischak, Socrates, Hummel, Schmelzer makes up the defensive unit of five. Ramsey and Pod behold it with Shakiri, and actually I've brought in Raheem Sterling to play on uh, on the left-hand side. Marco Royce behind Alessio Cherzi. Obviously, we've got a strong bench with players like uh, Depay, Subotic, Son and Sturridge there as well. So, uh, hoping for a good game. Whether we'll get a result or not, I'm not entirely too sure. We had the round out of the Bundesliga season yesterday if you missed that then there will be a link as an annotation in the bottom left hand side of your screen to take you to it or of course feel free to check the channel page for it and or anything else you may have missed over the past few days with school starting again etc etc but for your Tuesday afternoon goodness we have the Champions League final and then tonight we actually have the Manchester derby in the my player series as well so uh, it's all going off today big game this afternoon big game this evening but let's crack on hopefully we can get a good result we won the Europa League last year hoping for another European title to uh, perhaps replicate the success of Porto in uh, in 2004 and go from the Europa League win one year and follow that up with a Champions League win. We'll try our best. Not sure. I doubt you'll see the entire game. Uh, I'll probably do extended highlights as opposed to a full commentary. But uh, we'll have to wait and see what happens. Maybe the game will be action-packed enough for uh, for me to put the whole game in. But we'll have to wait and see. You would have thought Barcelona will keep hold of possession quite a bit. They, of course, like to play their tick attacker style. So we'll have to wait and see what sort of approach they have to the game. We're playing away from them in the rain, unfortunately in the Olympia Stadion. I don't know why I said away from home. Of course, the final is going to be on a neutral ground. As you can see, a 5-1 win in the round of 16, 4-1 in the quarters, 5-2 in the semis. Barca really showing dominance. And there is the main man, Lionel Messi, leading out his Barcelona side with the captain's armband as well. Mats Hummels leads my boys out. Hopefully, we can have a good game. It's going to be a case of uh, trying to catch them on the counter-attack, I think, which is actually something we've been quite good at this year, especially utilising uh, the pace of Cherry and Shaqiri on that right-hand side. And if we could do the same with uh, Sterling, which is why I brought him in over Hyung Min Sun in the starting lineup, to have that extra little bit of pace on the counter, then uh, we may be able to, uh, to create some decent chances. Neymar there at the end of the row. But, uh, yeah, let's jump in then, shall we? Let me stop waffling at the start of the game. Let's actually have some on-pitch action. Pass on the attack at the start with Neymar down the left. They've got a lot of pace in their own side to uh, to try and counteract my all oh, jeeps. That's a good shot from Cesc Fabregas. They've got a good amount of pace in their side. Of course, they're playing Alexis wide right with uh, Neymar wide left. And then, of course, as you may expect, Messi through the middle. They're actually going to go short here with the corner to Neymar. They win that back. I'm actually only giving them another corner. But that was a decent shot from Seska for two minutes. Of course, we will be playing as Chelsea with the, the first FIFA 15 career mode. So, uh, hopefully, we, uh, we can see what Seska's all about today. But, you know, hopefully he won't be able to actually cause us too much damage. But I am looking forward to starting this Chelsea. If you missed... Uh, the video, oh, nice tackle from Royce. Now we get the chance to do the the, uh, the counter-attack chance. Oh, Church, he just stopped his run. You see him there. Well, they may actually reach that ahead of Mascherano. Maybe, oh, not quite got the pace. Well, Royce has picked that up, though. I see the run. There's Sheridan and Shaqiri. That's a terrible pass from Marco Royce. But, yeah, if you missed the video from uh, Sunday night, I outlined my exact FIFA 15 schedule. It was a very important video with uh, quite a bit of information in it. So if you did miss that, definitely check the channel page for it so uh, you can check that out. I know quite a few of you did see it. So, uh, of course, uh, that's very, very good. And hopefully, I hope I have altered the schedule slightly oh, no, Neymar. For, uh, for FIFA 15. So we'll definitely check that out so you know exactly what is coming from me and when. 
for that uh, for that game when we get going. Uh, I have actually altered the uh, the schedule listing in the description and in the about tab of the channel page as well to uh, reflect those changes. Oh, I'm not going to have the pace to get past any others. Might have the strength with Pogba. Can he keep motoring? No, no, I've done well to pass out of the defensive line. But yeah, definitely check the channel page for anything you may have missed because there have been a couple of rather important videos over the past few days. But a slow start here. Barca with the only real chance of the game to this point. Our, uh, our counter-attack plan hasn't worked so far, but it may do before the end of this first half. We keep nicking the ball off there with Biscuits. A little bit more strength than Raheem Sterling. He does have the pace to match Sanchez. Sa uh, Sanchez, don't know how I stumbled on saying that. Oh, he's done well to get it away, but Song brings it down. So hard to uh, to maintain possession against the Barcelona side. Of course, when they do have the ball, they're pretty much untouchable. Oh, no, don't give a pen. Oh, no, handball. No! Oh, we're 1-0 down. I was relieved there that we didn't give away a penalty for Na the uh, the challenge on Neymar. And I just couldn't get the ball away. Alex Song, of all players, now in real life at West Ham United, scores the opening goal of the Champions League final. That's devastating. We take the ball off Neymar there. I think that's a pen, actually. And then he... Oh, as he's getting up, he traps that with his arms. That's handball. That is genuinely handball. Scuffed finish from Song into the bottom corner. Uh, well, I can't really complain. They should have had a penalty. Then Neymar handballed. It's terrible officiating on both sides of it. But regardless, we find ourselves 1-0 down 18 minutes into the game. We still have it all to do now. It's going to be difficult to get ourselves back in this. Here's Alexis. Can Sterling get that off him? He can't. But Mascherano's had a heavy touch. Alexis. It's not Alexis Sanchez. Raheem Sterling. Oh, I was wishful thinking, thinking I've got Alexis Sanchez in my side. Raheem Sterling with a good shot there. Drawn a good save at the goalkeeper. Now, can Shakiri find the head of Mats Hummels? It's gone his way, flicked on by uh, the Barcelona player at the near post. Alexis hoofs it clear. No men pushed forward for them, though. The goalkeeper will probably retain that. Thank you, Weidenfeller. I told you it's thrown it. Can you please throw it? Thank you. I see Sterling running. That was actually meant for Raheem Sterling. No, and it's only gone as far as Marco Royce. That's kind of killed my entire move there, but oh, Shakiri couldn't quite to get that off. Sesk there, Jordi Alba again a lot of pace with uh, this Barcelona side, that's a good ball in there, can't quite get there with Sterling again, they're so hard to get the ball off, Neymar's doing me down the left hand side here, good feet, Socrates stands strong though, I see the man that's got a little bit of space here, can I flick that on, oh, I've kind of run underneath it, was it handball as well, oh typical, right Barcelona free kick, half an hour into the first half, we haven't really had any opportunities yet apart from that one Raheem Sterling chance, but I might be able to play the ball. That's a really nice ball with Mark, the outside of the foot from Marco Royce. I'm going to try and come inside the man here. We have done. I need a runner from deep, please. All churches had the uh, the run of the green there. Aaron Ramsey's in behind. Takes so long to have his shot. Well saved down low by the goalkeeper. That is a great opportunity for us. I'm going to hit it from distance with Pogba. Oh, almost into the bottom corner. I thought it was going to arrow right inside the post there. Just went wide. Manuel Neuer in goal for Barcelona. I thought it was Victor Valdez. Manuel Neuer. It's going to be even harder to get the ball past. Great strike from Pogba. Bounces in front of the goalkeeper, which makes it difficult, but just flashes wide of that post. Just under 15 minutes to go in the first half. Song up to Neymar. I need to be always, always wary of Neymar's tricky feet. Ale Alex. Oh, we keep wanting to call him Alexis Song. It's not it's Alex Song. Alexis Sanchez. Right, let's catch him on the counter-attack. Pogba power through that challenge. He hasn't done. Just gets it's done well there. Him, actually called him by his real name there. I didn't call him Biscuits. It's held. Oh, is that a goal kick? Please be a goal kick, not a corner. Good. Five minutes to go until half-time. We've not really threatened too much. The chance from Pogba, the chance from Sterling. How Messi won that header, I've no idea. I'm waiting for the love through ball from Neymar. It's not come just yet. They've gone out wide, in fact. Aaron Ramsey's going to close down Sesk, former Arsenal teammates. I think Ramsey was there when Sesk was there, at least. He must have been... Oh, Sesk, stop twisting and turning. He's going to be the main midfielder in the Chelsea career mode for FIFA 15, obviously, alongside Nemanja Matic. But I don't want him creating too much here. Sterling, get up. Right, Royce, run. You've got the pace on... Oh, I'm just going to play it. He's got the pace on Mascherano. Turn inside PK. There's a man there. It's Raheem Sterling. Oh, he gets the foot in Marco Royce. It's 1-1. Oh, we get so lucky with the deflection. Marco Royce on the stroke of half-time brings Borussia Dortmund back into play. 
I was so disappointed for Sterling that he had our opening effort of the game that was well saved by Manuel Neuer. Almost had another one there. Great defensive challenge from the man on the inside. I think it was Alex Song. Their goal scorer it was. But fortunately for us, drops to Marco Royce. Manuel Neuer, no chance. Fires it past his German national teammate into the bottom corner. Borussia Dortmund 1, Barcelona 1. Here's Alexis down the left-hand side. We're still in first half stoppage time. I cannot afford to concede again. We cannot afford to concede again just before half time after equalising in stoppage time ourselves. Sterling's going to have to close down biscuits here. Oh, I missed the challenge. I missed the second challenge. Danny Elvis on the ball. Don't let him through that gap. Come on, ref, do me a favour. I need you to blow the half time whistle, please. Do me a favour. Sesk across to Jordi Alba. He's not going to have a shot, I don't think, unless we let him get in the box, and he has done. Get out. Ref! That's got to be a foul, surely. Nothing given. Biscuits on the ball. I feel a little bit nervous to jump in. There we go. That should be half time now. If I play the ball up forwards. There is the half-time whistle. Nervy times at the end of the first half then. I thought that was going to be it after we scored. It wasn't. Barca creating chances down our left-hand side and their right. Going to have to be a little bit more select with how and when I, uh, I commit to those diving challenges. But still, pleased to be level at the break, to be completely honest, after that, uh, that unfortunate start to the game where we conceded the goal, although we kind of got away with a penalty call. But still... Borussia Dortmund 1, Barcelona 1 is the score at half-time. Could go either way, this one. Barcelona making a change at half-time. Iniesta coming on for Sergio Busquets. That's an attacking change by the Barcelona manager. You presume it would still be uh, Tata Martino on this game at this particular stage because, of course, Luis Enrique is now manager at Barcelona in real life. Oh, I've over overrun that slightly. Iniesta for Sergio Busquets is an attacking change, although they did have two holding midfielders on the, on the, on the field, I suppose, in uh, both Song and Busquets, so you would have only expected them to line up with one ordinarily, so, you know, it's not really an unexpected change or a surpri surprise change. In fact, to be fair, it was more of a surprise. Iniesta didn't start the game in the first place, but oh, somehow Jordi Alba's managed to find that ball all the way across to Alexis Sanchez. Please save that. He has to invite him further, and away we go. Oh, actually, oh, he just ignored the ball. Come on, Church, you can do better than that. Let's find that up to Messi. Heavy touch from Messi, although he's managed to break through the challenge. Don't commit yourself, Chez. We'll give away a penalty. Here's Neymar in the box again. Neymar does well to get around me. I missed the challenge. He's Iniesta on the edge of the box, freshly onto the pitch. Danny Alves, oh, he's done well to turn me there. Alex Song already scored one goal in this game. I don't really want the embarrassment of Alex Song scoring against me multiple times. Shakiri's done well there, and we could break away. Let's go. Shakiri's got a lot of space to run into here. Although, is that Danny Alves on the inside of him? I don't. I think it's Sesk. I'm going to whip it to the back post because that's where the man is. Oh, Manuel Neuer comes out to punch it clear. He had to do that because Alessio Terzi there was ready to pounce. With the header at the back post. Chance for us to take the lead then at the start of the second half. In fact, Barcelona live to fight another day and are actually breaking me down again, going the other way. Iniesta with a burst of acceleration there. Really nicely done. Pogba. Sanchez is going to let that run. He goes out for, uh, for a throw-in. Cool. This is, getting, uh, this is getting harder now. Now with Iniesta on the pitch, so you think they're going to hold on to possession even better than they were before. Barca putting a lot of pressure on. You can see them closing the ball down as soon as I pass the ball off. There's a, a Barcelona shirt closing down on the man in yellow. Just trying to stop me getting into any spaces. I think that is a terrible pass from Terry and Shaqiri there. Sesk with another cheeky back here. He does like to play the passes like that sometimes when the option arises. Neymar holds off Piszczek really well there. Jordi Alba on the ball. I don't want to let them get cross in. Although they're probably not too dangerous in the air. He says, oh, Roman Weidenfeller, what a save. Was that Lionel Messi with an overhead kick? No idea what the man underneath the ball was doing. What is that from Mats Hummels? That was terrible. Well, I think it was Socrates, actually, but still. Really fantastic reaction safe from Roman Weidenfeller. Keeps us in it. Just as I say, they're not going to be a threat in the air. They go and cross the ball in and actually have a chance. Oh, Terzi, where are we going? I try, oh, I try to do a, uh, you know, the kind of heel click thing. That. And Terzi just turned around. <laughs> like Ramsey, doesn't have the pace and Song's got the foot in. Like, run, 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 run. Keep going. Oh, screw you, Neymar. 20 minutes to go now. I'm thinking about making a change, but I don't know whether to make just an offensive change or whether to put some fresh legs on at the back as well to, stay, to make sure that they can't get in behind because you think 
if he's still at the club, you would think that Pedro will be uh, coming on soon. Messi with a shot off the post. Wowzers. That uh, looked like such a tame shot, but it's still so accurate from the Argentinian. He's so good. He's just so accurate with every single shot he has. And their interceptions at the back are just getting ridiculous now. They're cutting out every through ball that I play. Neymar racing away from Piszczek. Have to come back here and try and block the cross. Don't let it get in. Don't let it get in. Sesk puts it through the defender's legs and wide. 15 minutes left to go. I am going to make a change. Question is, who do I replace and with who? Shakiri's getting a little bit tired, so we'll bring... We'll bring Sun on because he's more of a physical presence. And I'll bring Studge on for Royce and then drop Churchy to Cam. Right, that's going to be the two changes we'll make for now. And then we may make another change a little bit later on if we go to extra time. But that one will be more of a defensive change. Ramsey, what have you done that for? He just flicked it straight to Sesk. He's got another back heel in there, Sesk Fabregas. Well challenged, Paul Pogba. Right, Jordi Alba and Hume Min Sun. That's where Hume... Human Sun comes in handy with the extra strength. We did mention that. Piszczek looking for Churchy. There's Daniel Sturridge in the middle. All you've got to do is get around the challenges. Oh, there's a little ball through there perhaps. No, I couldn't. I just didn't have the space to turn with Sturridge to really get a chance on goal there. That was a glorious chance for a, a counter-attacking at least attempt on goal. Pogba touch only goes as far as Dani Alves. Here's Alexis. Ten minutes to go now. It's a good turn from Sanchez. Barcelona keeping the ball very well indeed yet again. I'm not the best when it comes to defending. I'll be the first to admit that. But, oh God, Socrates. Get that away, please. Ref, that's a tough challenge from Danny Alves. And he's felt that down on that left-hand side. Raheem Sterling, oh God. Sanchez turned inside me. He's done it again. He's done it again. Song's in the way. Alex Song scores not again. I thought that was going to go into the back of the net. I don't know how he's missed that. He's got it underneath the keeper, which is all he needed to do. But on his left foot, he's put that wide. Thank God the defender didn't put it into his own net with that outstretch. There is the Pedro chains we were expecting. Oh, jeez. I've barely even got out my own half for the entirety of this, uh, this second 45. It's been ridiculous the amount of pressure Barcelona have put on me. We try and use Sung's pace here to get around Cesc. I've been able to use it, but we have picked up a throw in. So at least we're going to keep possession, which is the most important thing at this stage. Pogba to Ramsey. Ramsey back to Pogba with a bit of space to run to here, Paul Pogba. I kind of get around Alex Sung. I can, but then everybody on my own team gets in the way. Here's Smelter. Oh, God, Pedro puts the foot in. I wasn't expecting him to jump in that quickly. Sterling will go around the outside of Danny Alves, which isn't easily done, but Sterling's managed. It whips a good ball in. Storage. Oh, tries to beat the goalkeeper to the ball. Can't quite do it. In fact, may have hit the post had he not clipped through it there with his... Diving header, unfortunately, we still haven't been able to create that chance that we want and need to get ourselves back in the game, beat Messi. Ref! That's terrible from Lionel Messi. Horrendous, he should pick up a booking for that when the ref pulls play back. A little bit later on, Churchy, I'll get the ball out to Piszczek. Son is making me the run that I want him to. Please keep that in, and he has done. Oh, he's done well to get past the man as well. Oh, Jordi Alba's got the acceleration to get back in there. Is that the final whistle? It is. We end 90 minutes at 1-1. Going in four extra time. It's been a tough one so far, especially in that second half. Really had to hang on in parts to make sure that we, uh, we didn't go behind again. Another 30 minutes upcoming. Messi has actually picked up a yellow card after the, uh, the final whistle went. Sturridge, win the header please. He has done, but it's only gone as far as Cesc. I think Messi got a little bit frustrated with the way that they just weren't able to get the ball past our back line once they were getting in behind they only had really that Alex Song chance that caused us any real problems although Feinfeld did have to make a couple of saves though most notably from that uh, from that messy overhead kick but oh Sterling might be able to nip in there and he has done I've got nowhere to go though it's no one's made me any runs Sturridge just keep possession says that's all he got to do so I know as soon as I give them possession back they'll be straight back up the other end. Sun's done well to get around the edge here. That's a good ball. Sturridge. Technique on the shot's good, but it goes just wide. Oh, it was actually aimed for St uh, Sterling in the middle. He's pulled it back, Sun, with his right foot towards the edge of the box. Good technique from Daniel Sturridge. He couldn't quite angle it into that bottom corner. That's positive. That's actually our first chance, or first shot, since the first half. That's how dominant Barcelona have been in uh, this game to date. 100 minutes on the clock. 
20 minutes to go. Is there going to be a breakthrough or are we going to penalties? Midway point in extra time then, still 1-1. It's very, very close actually. There wasn't too much created in that, uh, in that first period of extra time other than Daniel Sturridge's chance. So I'll have to wait and see if the final 15 minutes hold anything. Otherwise, we're going to penalties. You can see Barcelona have been on top. Although 14 tackles apiece, we're definitely getting stuck in. But they're very, very good at keeping the ball and winning the ball back again once I get it. So 15 minutes of hard graft to try and either get a winner or just maintain this uh, this status quo and then go to penalties and try and win it there. Although not overly confident against Manuel Neuer, to be completely honest. Sturridge, please get there. No, Seska's won it back off him. They've got the chance to counter-attack me here with Pedro. I'm not, I'm not confident here. I'm really not confident. Hummels is getting drawn out of position as well. I want to try and get him back in the middle if I can. As Messi, Messi gets it out to Neymar. He's going to turn his side. I oh, read the one. Can't read the other. Neymar makes it 2-1. His feet are just so quick. I read the turn inside, but as soon as I read the turn inside, he went back outside again. He just can't react quick enough. Neymar, that turn there, and then he's gone. As, as soon as you read it, he's just gone the other way. It's ridiculous. He's so quick-feeted. Quick-feeted? So quick-footed. Oh, that's so good. Neymar makes it Barcelona 2, Borussia Dortmund 1. We are really up against it now. We've got 10 minutes, 10 in-game minutes to get ourselves a goal. Uh, I wanted to make a defensive change, but I, I just can't. I need to make an attacking one. Or do I make a change in the middle? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a change in the middle just to hopefully try and link up the defence and the midfield a little bit better because everyone as you saw was running low on fitness. Nuri Shaheen is going to come on for Paul Pogba. It's now or never for us. We've got 10 minutes to save our Champions League. Shaheen. That's a nice ball looking for Hume Min Sun. I'm going to try and turn back inside if I can. He has done. Here's Nuri Shaheen just on the pitch. Oh, Nuri Shaheen has done it. He's been on the pitch 60 seconds. 60 seconds. It's Barcelona 2, Borussia Dortmund 2. That change! I knew I should have changed the midfielder. I just had a feeling it would make the difference, and it has done immediately. 2-2, two, two. and Yuri Shaheen breaking from deep. Great ball out to uh, Kyung Min Sun. Plays the elongated 1-2, gets it back to the Turkish centre mid, and he's rifled us back in the game. 2-2. Two, two. We may be going to penalties after all. There goes the final whistle then. We are going to penalties at the end of an extremely well-contested Champions League final. 2-2 the final score. That could have gone either way. We are so lucky to have gotten that goal back through Nuri Shaheen just 60 seconds after he came onto the pitch. Oh, whether we deserve to stay in that game until the very end, I don't know. But he is going to penalties. Although they do have such better penalty takers than us. This is really, really nervy stuff. You can see how fast the bar is moving. I've not quite got that in the green either. And Neuer gets beaten with the first penalty. I needed that just to put me, uh, put me, uh, to put my nerves at ease because Manuel Neuer is a fantastic goalkeeper. Where's Cesc going to go, do you think? Left? Oh, he's hit the post! Cesc Fabregas misses the opening penalty, the penalty shootout. We have the advantage. Daniel Sturridge, I'm just going to go down the middle and put it into the roof of the net, perhaps. Oh, Neuer's gone the wrong way. Neuer has gone the wrong way. 2-0. Neymar scored one goal for them to get them that 2-1 lead that we eventually rather quickly nullified. Neymar, fantastic pen right into the top corner. That was really good from the Brazilian. Now it's the Welshman. We've had a Brazilian followed by a Welshman. Neuer saves it. What a save. How has he got up to that? Oh, 2 one after three penalties for us. Leo Messi rarely misses. Hit the bar against Chelsea in the semi-finals a few years ago. Beats the goalkeeper down the middle. This time it's 2-2 after three pens each. Hyung Min Sun. I'm going to go the top right this time. We send Neuer the wrong way. We're back in the lead. Now if we can make a save here. If we can make a save here. That would really give us a fantastic chance. Oh, he's kept it out. Oh, he stayed out. He hits him on the feet, rolls across the goal line, hits the post. Roman Weidenfeller could be the hero. It's Mats Hummels to, to win at the Champions League. Mats Hummels. I was just checking the scores. Mats Hummels scores this. We win. I'm going to go mids. It's a bit predictable. He's done it. Mats Hummels into the back of the net. The ball flies straight down the centre of the goal. The boys celebrate. It's Dortmund that win the... Champions League 4-2 on penalties after that comeback through Nuri Sahin in extra time 
absolute drama. Delighted with that. I'm going to let the boys in the background do the commentary as we always tend to do at the end of, uh, of a one-off final. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Feel free to leave the video a like if you enjoyed. Drop a subscription if you haven't already. We're closing in on 19k before FIFA 15. Big My Player episode tonight with the Manchester Derby. I will see you next time. Okay, rather uh, rather predictably, the uh, the commentary stopped as soon as I stopped talking. That's three or four times it's done that to me this year on FIFA 14. I normally like to cut to Martin Tyler and Alan Smith to uh, to end the uh, the episode off on a rather more professional uh, setting, but still really pleased to win the Champions League. It's our only trophy this year after losing out the Bundesliga title yesterday. We won the Europa League in the first season. We've won the Champions League in the second season. Absolute Jose Mourinho moment. They did it with Porto 10 years ago. We've done it 10 years later. Delighted with that. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Like I say, leave the video a like if you enjoyed and subscribe if you haven't. Let me know in the comment section down below whether you enjoyed the, uh, the longer video and whether you were just as excited as I was to see us pick up that trophy. Really, really pleased. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.